AI is now fully militarized and openly acknowledged. So we knew they were coming here, right? It was only a matter of time before the military stepped into the AI space. They have been talking about it for quite some time. I guess I don't want to say I'm a little shocked that it happened this fast, but partially and then partially not. You guys know that double edge like tension feeling that you have to go, oh my gosh, my jaw hit the floor from learning this. And then you go, yeah, but no. Okay. However, here's what I want to say. Um, I bet money that the Pentagon level AI is an entirely different beast than what's going on in Silicon Valley with that AI. As many who have been in the military know, they're miles ahead of us. And in fact, recently I was watching a live stream with Pete Garcia and he was talking on that live stream that the tech, and I, I, hope, I hope I remember this right, but the tech for Apple watches was being used in the military in 06. And it wasn't for what people wear the Apple watches for now. So again, and that's just a very like small scale. Like they're so far ahead of us. Monkey Works, uh, if you guys follow his channel, he talks a lot because he came out of the military too, how far they are ahead and what they're actually doing. The stuff that I've heard him talk about is honestly scary. So when AI becomes a weapon though, that I feel like is when we cross the point of no return. And I feel like, you know, we've been saying that for a while, but here we are. This is so B system infrastructure, plain and simple. So do you guys think that military, <laughs> this is like a, this is like a no brainer question, but I'm like, I'm going to ask anyway. Do y'all think military, a militarized AI will stabilize the world or destabilize it? 